on Cave Straight Up about to make the best stuffing recipe ever. This recipe has some sausage in it, some apples, and your Thanksgiving guests are gonna love it. We're kicking off this recipe by browning up either mild or hot ground sausage and making sure that it's chopped up really fine. After that, we're gonna go ahead and add it to our 16 ounces of our stuffing cubes. In that same pan, go ahead and put about a tablespoon of butter. And then we're gonna go ahead and add one medium white onion. About two cups of diced celery. And last but not least, two large cooking apples. These are red delicious here. So we're cooking this mixture down for about 10 minutes until all of your vegetables get soft and your onions translucent. After that, go ahead and add it right into your big mixing bowl, right on top of your sausage. Our sausage, celery, onion, and apple are all in our stuffing mix here. We're gonna go ahead and add a bowl of chicken stock, one cup of it, right over the top. I like to add a little bit, give it a little mix, and then add some more. Next up, a little bit of fresh parsley, a little bit of garlic powder, some sage, just a little bit, and some marjoram, that spice in your wrap that you don't know what it is and you think it's butter, but right over top. Then we're gonna do salt, pepper, and a tiny bit of sherry. This is the good stuff. This is what makes it really, really pop. After that, we're gonna finish it off with a little bit more of our cooking stock, our chicken stock, I'm sorry, and we're just gonna pour it over and we're ready to put it in our pan. Last step, we're getting our stuffing into our pan and ready for the oven. We're gonna go ahead and coat the bottom of our cooking pan with a little bit of melted butter. Once we're coated with butter, we're gonna go ahead and pour it right into our pan. We're spreading out our stuffing nice and even in our pan here, and it is ready for a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and cover it for the first 15 to 20 minutes, and then uncover it and cook it an additional 15 to 20 more. Look at this finished product. Isn't it perfect for your Thanksgiving dinner? Make sure to check back to Cake Straight Up for more of your Thanksgiving favorites coming up all through the month of November. If you have any questions about this recipe, please make sure to comment below or tweet. Of course, subscribe. And other than that, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.